Hey, what's going on everybody? We are in the small town of Hamilton, Alabama, having to stop by the bank because this weekend is a special treat for me, so I thought I would bring you guys along. We're gonna go to Tunica, Mississippi, and we're going to burn a little money at a casino and see a comedian for my birthday. So I thought you guys might like to come along. We're gonna take the long way there, see what we find on the back roads. And I got a little special thing I wanna to go to. I don't wanna just go to the casino and be like, here we are. So I'm going to uh, take us somewhere neat, or at least I think it's kind of, it's a historical thing to do with the United States as a whole. So with all that being said, if this is your first time here, hey, welcome. I hope you enjoy. If this isn't your first time, welcome back. Don't forget, you know, like, subscribe, share, all the things, right? So we're gonna leave here out of Hamilton and we're gonna head towards Mississippi, towards Tunica, and let's see what we see along the way. It does smell really good down here. So no stop, or we gotta stop coming through Tupelo, right? There's a little bit of history here. There's some guy named Elvis, right? And you know, he was famous, I think, at one point in time. And we got to come back and go through the, the house and all that stuff. But I thought as we're coming through Tupelo, see, as I was saying, there's no, you got to stop down here since the, the camera cut off. But yeah, here's the plaque. Gladys brought him here to get his guitar. He came to buy a bicycle. But that guitar, $7.90. $7.90 for the guitar. And it's right inside there. That's where it happened. That's where Elvis came to get a bicycle, and as all kids do, Mama, I don't want the bicycle. I want the uh, I want that guitar. And history was made. What if he would have got the bicycle? You know? Would he would he would have been Elvis, right? What would have happened? So we got a couple hours on the way to the next thing and uh, maybe um, it's got me going through this part of Mississippi I haven't been through before. So hopefully we're gonna see some interesting things along the way. So now that, that, now that we got to see the, the hardware store where Elvis got his guitar, let's go on to the next thing. So we're here in Oxford and in one of our other previous videos that I'll throw up right now, you can see where we visited the grave of William Faulkner. And so I thought as I was coming through here today, we could go visit his house. It's a very unique style as he didn't clear the, the yard. They let trees grow up all around it. It's a beautiful home. Very fitting for an author like him. Looks like they're trying to get that shot with nobody in it. You know, like that empty, perfect shot. So I wonder what, I wonder what that is over there. I wonder if they have any, uh, it'd be nice if they had some kind of, little thing oh here's a, a little placard let's go over here oh you can even go in the house yeah so Roanoke historic landmark in 77 let's just hold on let's get this now that is a view. Isn't that gorgeous? So let's go see what else. So after going in there, opening the door and almost getting scared half to death, we found out that it is, it's five bucks a person for a self-guided tour. And we didn't bring any cash because we didn't think it was, uh, wow, look at, look at that. 
that's weird. You got you some new sunglasses. Anyway, so yeah, it was, it's five bucks to go through there. It's free if you're an Ole Miss student, but we're not Ole Miss students, Roll Tide. And uh, so now that we've made it back to the car, I'm too fat and lazy to walk back. Beautiful house though. It looks really neat, it's really interesting. And uh, I would definitely, I'm putting this on the come back to do list. Because maybe there's a whole, there's a walking trail, there's all kinds of stuff to do here. So it's definitely on the come back and do list. They fit? Or they broke it in? Okay, well that's good. I have uh, Miss Backroads with me today. We're going, we're around Oxford and we're headed towards Arkansas and then we're gonna turn around and go back to Tunica once that's done. So we're fixing to leave Oxford. I was gonna go by the football stadium and all that stuff, but they've got something going on down there that's uh, very busy. So we came this way and we just ran into this place. So you know that whole, you never know what you're gonna find on the back roads thing that I do? Yeah, that's, that's what just happened. All, this, all these beautiful, this, these trees and there's trails that go way off. I don't know where, but yeah, we got to come back and do this. So, let's see where else we end up at. Don't look like they've started planting. You would think by this time of year, maybe, maybe they've had too much rain. Dang. How far do you think we can see? Like looking in that direction, how far do you think all that is? I don't know. 20? 20 miles? Because those are really large farmhouses. Yeah. They look really small. Looks like it may have a mosquito or two in it. Wow. All right, so we made it. This is the thing we've drove four, four hours from the house to what I didn't know till we got here, I wanted to come see this this important landmark. We are here to see the stone from the Louisiana Purchase. And this was the beginning point of the survey. Now, if you don't know about the Louisiana Purchase, it was when the US bought property from France in 1803. We purchased, what was it, 350 million acres? If that's wrong, I'll put a little footnote here. And it was, we purchased it for $15 million at the time, which 15 million in 1803 was a lot of money, which with inflation 
came up to 300 and like 380 million dollars today so we're going to walk out on this path and we're going to go try to find this stone and this and this is really it's really neat so i'm going to turn this camera around and fix the microphone and you guys are going to get a point of view walk with us all the way out to this thing it might be short and it might take a minute i don't really know but well, we're going to figure this out together so they have a sign out there that i'll show the arkansas state parks passport station i just ran through a spider web so we are the first ones here today at four o'clock in the afternoon it doesn't look deep I mean that's very shallow or at least on the parts that I'm looking at Oh, it's so easy. I mean, this is like wheelchair, all the accessible that you need. I mean, there's, you could bring kids, like it's all mesh. And I hope you guys have had an enjoyable time on this trip with me today. And it looks like it goes way on over there too. These trees are so thick, like it looks like there's one every feet or so. Look how thick and the headwater swamp is an unusual habitat. The headwater swamp, the swamp differs greatly from more common other backwater swamps. Upper reaches of streams or rivers seldom flood deeply yet rarely dry up which is what I was saying, you can barely, I mean, there's just, like you could almost walk through it if you had to. It doesn't look that deep. But it never dries up. And all the vegetation, like the leaves and stuff are way at the top. There's not a lot down below. So all you really see is just, just trees and stumps. In 1682, 140 years after DeSoto, Search for treasures west of the Mississippi. French explorers LaSalle claimed the land, resources, and people of the country of Louisiana in the name of King Louis XIV of France. Lands along the Mississippi provided excellent habitat for the wildlife. In 1762, France ceded the territory to Spain as payment for aid during the French Indian War. Then in July, Napoleon renegotiated with Spain for the return of Louisiana to France and then eventually he gave or we bought it back from him it's a beautiful Could you imagine the poor guy, the U.S., not even that had to build the walkway, but back whenever we bought this in 1803, they were like, yeah, we're going to need you to go out there and uh, figure out where this thing starts. And he was probably like, yeah, that's no big deal. I'll go out there. We'll, 
we'll put a little monument down and we'll figure out where it's at and then he gets to a, this place well that's interesting not what I was exactly planning on but I would imagine they don't hang out here too often cotton mouths cotton even better yeah, all the good varieties out here. Yeah, a duck would be interesting. That'd be about the only one I'd want to see out of all those. And this thing is a lot further out than I thought. Look how cool that looks. It does look really neat. Like, I bet it doesn't translate well in video, but here in person. I would not want to, I'm glad we came when we did. I couldn't imagine how full of bugs this place would be in August when it's hot and it's humid. Coming in early April is a good time. Gosh, there's so many bugs. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a spider, big spider. I mean, it's not that big, but still, it's a good sized spider. That's big for me, I don't like spiders. <laughs> I see it. The survey. President Madison ordered the official survey of the territory in 1815. He needed to award this land as payment to veterans of the War of 1812, which if you've watched some of my videos, we visited one of those veterans in Russellville, Alabama. Which this summer we're going to do more on the war of 1812 or at least the creek indian war because there was a lot of that while we were fighting the british on one front the uh the red sticks that was a whole different battle within itself and here it is so i'm going to stand here and read this and i'll take a picture and put it up this stone marks the base established November 10th of 1815 from which the lands of Louisiana purchased were surveyed by the United States engineers. The first survey from this point was made to satisfy the claims of the soldiers of the War of 1812 with land boundaries erected by the Arkansas Daughters of the American Revolution. Wow. So what are the bearing tree? Like some of these red things. Oh look, there's people standing on this. From I'll have to put this photo up so you can see it better. But at one point in time that was dry. And the car, I don't even know, the car is way out there yeah it's right through over there i wonder why they had to wind all the way through here i mean you could have just went that way because even like down at the base there's a uh, land survey marker there so over here there's this bearing tree whatever i don't know what that means land survey division bearing tree maybe that has something to do the water looks really it looks a lot deeper here yeah that photo like that's that's got to be a replacement stone obviously but wow that was cool right 
Like we that's what we've been driving to get to all day was that. Like that point back there was where the they've started figuring out how to give the land out for the Louisiana purchase. That was made in 1803, so they started they bought it in 1803 and they dragged their feet till 1815 where the uh, War of 1812 veterans were like, hey, weren't we supposed to get some land for fighting this battle? And they were like, yeah, I guess, you know. And if, as you look through the trees over there, it looks like it may clear up a little bit, but I don't know. I'm definitely not gonna be the one to find that out. So yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you have enjoyed the video so far. Oh yeah. Man, this is really cool. We got to get out and walk more often, don't we? We should come do uh, more historic nature trails more often. All right, full transparency. This is the day after the casino. We're here at the the house where we do the live streams from, and yeah, one thing leads to another. We get there and. We have just enough time to check in, to get to the room, to get ready, to go see Tom. And then we see Tom, we get out, have a drink or two. And then it's like, gosh, I'm tired and I go to bed. Of course, it is my birthday and I did drive like five hours. So, yeah, there's not, I didn't film anything at the casino. Plus, the next day I was, I was very exhausted, I guess, from driving, pardon the hair. So, yeah. That's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to try to do some more vlog type stuff coming up. I got a trip planned where I want to go do something. I hope it turns out okay. So yeah, if you like this, hey, just let me know in the comments if you think it sucks. Let me know too. This is the first one of these. So it can only go up from here, right? I hope. So you know what? Thank you guys so much. And you never know what you're going to find on the back roads. See you guys next time.